Hey, John Cristana here, and I teach people how to become entrepreneurs, but I always get this question is, what is the difference between franchising and affiliate marketing? Because they're very similar business models, but very different in many respects. Now, a little bit about me is I'm a little bit biased. I've been earning millions of dollars a year as an affiliate marketer. Here's my ClickBank Platinum Award. Here's my ClickFunnels 2 Comma Club Award. And so I'm a little bit biased when it comes to this, but I'm gonna break down the specific differences between franchising and affiliate marketing in this video. I'm gonna be talking about how old are these business models? What is the average profit margin in each of these business models? What is the difference in costs to getting started? Customer service, inventory, do you need ads? And what are the overall pros and cons of doing each of these business models? Tune in, check it out, and let's see what's going on. John Cristani here, and I love entrepreneurship. You know, when I graduated college and I was thinking about what I wanna do for a living, it didn't involve doing an hour long commute each way to work and sitting in an office cubicle, hoping for five or six o'clock to roll around so I could go home. It wasn't that. So I became an entrepreneur and I'm a multimillionaire because of it, and I'm a big fan of anybody that's out there taking action and trying to forge their own path to becoming an entrepreneur. I'll talk a little bit more about it, but I'm the author of the best-selling book, Work at Home Secrets, which goes over a lot of different ways you could be an entrepreneur, but let's talk about franchising right now and affiliate marketing. So the first thing to understand is franchising is a very old business model. It's been around for over a hundred years, and it's been around over a hundred years. It started, actually really came to prominence with a very well-known brand, perhaps one of the best-known brands in the world, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, John Pemberton, who founded Coca-Cola, franchised his process for creating Coke to other people in different states. And he gave them the exact supplies, he showed them the exact process, the ingredients, and the recipes to create what was a miracle cure at the time. That was in the 1800s, and since then, franchising has been a huge business model. McDonald's, Starbucks, 7-Eleven, Subway, KFC, all these different businesses all use franchising. So it's been around very successful, obviously, as we've seen the proliferation of these major brands of restaurants and stores all around the world. Affiliate marketing's a little more recent. It's really only 25 years old. It really started once the internet started gaining popularity in the 90s. So affiliate marketing's been around since, yeah, it was 1995 when people started making arrangements that if you would sell their products by sending out emails that you would get a commission because email was really one of the first ways you could build an audience or reach people on the internet. Now, the other main difference between franchising and affiliate marketing is the profit margin. So franchising, you are selling another company's product, such as McDonald's, but the difference is that you have a lot more costs involved. You have to have people, you have to have real estate, you have to have all sorts of machines and equipment. The profit margins are generally much lower, and generally they're between 10 to 15%. So for the average McDonald's that makes, let's say, a million million dollars a year, $2 million a year, you're making anywhere from $150,000 profit to $300,000 profit. Affiliate marketing, on the other hand, the average profit margin is much higher because people who do affiliate marketing, they're still selling other companies' products, but the costs of running a blog or a YouTube channel or a Twitter account or a Instagram account are far lower and there's a lot less costs involved. So the profit margins are generally around 50%. So a lot higher, less capital intensive run an affiliate marketing based business. So the cost to start a business is a very important thing. And I always recommend people don't go outside of your budget to start a business. Start something within your budget. There are all sorts of businesses you can start. Now that being said, the cost for franchising, which is one of the most oldest school ways of being an entrepreneur, versus doing affiliate marketing are vastly different, obviously. In franchising, the range to start a franchise can be anywhere from like $100,000 to start maybe a Jimmy John's, to a million dollars to start a McDonald's, to $2 million to start a normal gas station franchise. But let's just kind of cut the middle and say it costs, generally speaking, you're looking at about $500,000 to start your average franchise, like a Subway, for instance. Whereas affiliate marketing, it doesn't take much 
to get started, but it still takes trial and error and you might need to buy some software or training programs to educate you on the model. So I would put the costs around $2,000 you should have available if you wanna start an affiliate marketing based business and go full in, full time at that. Keep in mind, I include costs for training in this because in franchising, the costs for training are actually included. When you buy a McDonald's franchise, when you spend a million dollars to get your own McDonald's, they send you out to seminars, they train you, they give you books, they give you people that spend hands-on time, at your location, so it's a whole different process. But again, you're paying for that and it costs a lot of money. Now, when I got started affiliate marketing, what I actually did was I didn't even know I was doing affiliate marketing at the time. I was just running an ad agency. And what I did was I was working with clients and one of my clients said to me, they said, hey, how about you work for us, but we'll pay you a commission if you get us new customers. And prior to that, usually I turn down deals like that because everybody wants to do a commission-based arrangement, right? Nobody wants to pay until they get results. And at the time I was running my business based on charging businesses $1,000 to manage their Google Ads. Whereas this business said, no, you pay for the ads and we'll pay you if sales occur. Usually I would say no, but in this case, this person that had said it to me had made tens and tens of millions of dollars on the internet and he was a very famous person. He was somebody I actually genuinely respected and admired and I said, okay, well, you know, I want to be like that too someday. I wanted to run my own business that did tens of millions of dollars a year. And I said, okay, I'll try it out. And at that time I was pretty good. I built up some really solid skill base in regards to marketing. So I was pretty confident, I was pretty young, and I was willing to take risks. So for this company was the gold investment company, and they tried to get leads for people who were interested in moving their retirement accounts over to gold. So I said, okay, I'll do it. And the deal was 3% of the amount of money moved. And the average deal was around $100,000. So if I got new customers, I would make about $3,000 per new customer that I got this company. What that turned into for me was that turned into about a $50,000 a month steady income stream over the span of the next year. I grew and grew and grew and I figured out what keywords I needed to advertise on, where to advertise on Facebook, what messaging matched well with the audience. I needed to learn the terminology, 401ks, IRAs, Roth IRAs, rollovers. I need to learn all this terminology, custodians, etc to figure out how to market this product to a very different demographic than I was used to. And it paid off, obviously. And because I took that extra work and because I took a commission-based arrangement, I made far more money than I would have if I had been just charging the client $1,000 a month to manage their advertising. So by doing a performance deal and taking some of the risk myself, I ended up getting a much bigger reward. And that's how it is when you are an entrepreneur and when you do commission based marketing or you run a commission based business. Now I was able to do this because the affiliate marketing business model is very lean. CS stands for customer service and the difference in franchising being an entrepreneur in the old school is you had to actually have customer service. You had to actually talk to customers. You had to actually answer their phone calls when they called in or asked about things. Whereas in affiliate marketing, you have no customer service. You don't have to do anything. Everything is on the company to do, the company you are marketing for. So you have very little to do as an affiliate marketer. The next reason why affiliate marketing is so great is because it's very lean. Whereas in a franchise, you need inventory. When you go to McDonald's or Burger King or Carl's Jr. or Jack in the Box or or KFC or Popeyes or any of these other franchises, they all have inventory because they can't make their hamburgers, they can't make their chicken unless they already paid somebody for the product which they're gonna cook. So they have to buy things before they get money from customers, which is kind of a risky scenario. You're spending money before you're really making a lot back. And that's on top of, that's in addition to the cost of starting the franchise. Whereas in affiliate marketing, you have no inventory. Literally, it's all digital. It's all done on the internet. So you don't need need to carry inventory. And oftentimes, in many of the major affiliate networks, such as Digistore, ClickBank, MaxWeb, ClickBetter, you're actually selling digital products or educational products or how-to guides or eBooks. So really, their inventory is not even a concern anymore. It makes it much easier to be an entrepreneur 
than any time before. Now, the last thing I'm really gonna go over is advertising. Do you have to advertise as a franchise? It's yes and no. If you start a very well-known franchise such as a McDonald's, literally all you have to do is raise up those golden arches and place yourself next to a major street, people will find you because you have that brand recognition that people know and love and admire and people who wanna go to Starbucks or McDonald's, they'll find you. So oftentimes you don't have to advertise but with smaller franchises which cost less and have less brand recognition, generally you do have to advertise because nobody knows about you if you're a no-name company. Right. With affiliate marketing, I say yes, generally you do have to advertise. I teach a lot of free traffic methods of ways to do affiliate marketing, but a lot of these methods will only make you anywhere from, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month, you know, maybe up to $10,000 a month. Doing free traffic methods, it can make you money, and that's why we teach it on this channel. It helps you get started, but to really grow and really start making a serious, solid six-figure, seven-figure business, you need to do advertising. And that's what I teach in my course, the Super Affiliate System. It's a six-week training course. There, there's probably a link in the description, but it's a six-week training course which goes over how to do advertising on Google, Facebook, and YouTube. I spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in my business. That might sound kind of crazy to you that I spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in my business, but it's really not. I wanna make clear, there's people that spend millions of dollars a month and running a business that does hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. It's really, it's just the cost of doing business. That's how I get my traffic. That's how I get people coming to my website. So there aren't many other costs for me other than advertising itself. So really all the costs of my business are advertising usually. Because on affiliate marketing, most people don't know where you are on the internet. So you have to find a way to put yourself in front of them. That's why advertising, I say the only path to getting a six figure and up income as an affiliate marketer. Now, the pros and cons of each business model, I think the pros of running a franchise-based business model are pretty obvious, is you have brand name recognition. If you have a McDonald's or a Subway or Starbucks, people know who you are. People know what quality to expect. People recognize the brand, they recognize that there's a consistent quality, and that's why they go to these stores and pay a premium, because they know what to expect. So the brand is a big deal, whereas, Affiliate marketing, you don't really have that. But the big pro for affiliate marketing is the flexibility. Not having to actually show up and deal with people. You can work from your home. You can work from a beach in Thailand. You can work from anywhere in the world. You can be located in Nigeria and sell products to Americans. You can be located in America and sell products to Nigerians. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. As long as everybody's connected to the internet, you can earn money off of each other. So it really makes it simpler. Whereas with a franchise, you have to be located, generally speaking, close by to where your store is. And that really limits you if you're located in a third world country. You only have access to relatively poor people probably around you. Oh no, I don't mean to generalize, whatever. If you are easily offended, please unsubscribe from my channel. This is not for easily offended people. Now, here are the cons of each business model. The cons of running a franchise company is you have to do management, okay? You have to manage people. You have to hire people. You have to deal with liabilities, workers' compensation lawsuits out here in America. You have to deal with people people's emotions, you have to pe deal with people showing up late, giving you excuses for why they can't work, all sorts of things. And people are messy. So you just have to deal with all of those issues and you may not want to deal with people, <laughs> you know? We already have to deal with enough people. And whereas the cons for affiliate marketing is you have to do it alone. It's all alone on your computer. And this can be really difficult for many people. You don't have somebody to turn to and say, hey, am I doing the right thing or the wrong thing? What do I do next? Is there a better way to do it? How do I do this? And do Doing it alone causes a lot of problems. It can cause depression, anxiety, which are very common things of running an internet business. Depression and anxiety are so rampant amongst people doing affiliate marketing and running internet businesses in general, simply because you're basically battling against a computer and it's not something you can talk to. It's not something you can appeal to with your emotional side. It's very difficult. It's a big mind game, but that can be very difficult for people, especially if you're naturally social and you want that interaction, you crave that feedback, the feedback you get from computers is data, it's numbers. 
So you have to be willing and able to deal with that and only that to figure out what you're doing is right or wrong. So those are the differences between affiliate marketing and franchising. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything in this, if any of this was interesting to you. And if you'd love to hear affiliate marketing compared to other business models such as e-commerce or what have you, Amazon FBA. Now, if you're looking to get started working from home in your own home-based business, I suggest you get my book. It's $1, okay? Usually it's sold over TV, but right now it's $1. You can buy it, links in the description, and you'll also get a membership, a free 30-day membership to my training series called Internet Jet Set, which will give you access every week. I talk to and interview another expert, another multimillionaire online business owner to tell you about how they did it and how they got started and how you can get started in their business, whether that's running an ad agency, doing consulting or e-commerce or drop shipping, crypto trading or real estate flipping. I interview another self-made business owner every week to show you how you can get started doing their business. And in this book, for one dollar, it's a workbook. It goes over everything you need to get started with different affiliate marketing programs and different opportunities where you can work from home. Here I'm talking about how you can work with Amazon, Target, or Walmart. Here we are on page 33, showing you six different places that you can get remote jobs that'll pay you as much as $65 an hour. And you'll see with every chapter comes workbook questions, which you can fill out to help you better understand what's going on and to help you better understand what your goals are in getting started in whatever your business is and what steps you need to do to move forward. So get this book, it's $1, just check it out. Links are below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure as always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're ready to get started making money online and come out with videos every day during the week, showing you another way to learn marketing and implement it to be your own entrepreneur. I love marketing. I've made it my mission to become the number one marketing teacher in the world. So I'm not stopping until we've helped tons of people make a lot of money. Look forward to helping you out too. Subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and talk to you soon.